In this video, you will learn how to create a glitchy deform text animation in After Effects. By the way, you can download this template from the link in the description below. So without further ado, let's get started. So we are in After Effects. Let's create a new composition. Give it a name, whatever you want. And you can see my composition settings on my screen. So first I'm going to add my text. So I select a text tool and then I type our text and then simply align it to the center of this composition. After that, I pre-compose this layer as text holder. And then I go to the effects and presets panel. Here, I open the animation presets folder. After that, I open the transition movements folder and under it, you will find a card wipe 3D pixel strom effect. So I simply add it to this layer. After adding, you can see the properties of these effects in this panel. Also, if you press U on the keyboard, so you can see two keyframes. And the animation is applied to this layer. Let's adjust it. So first, I change the column value to 9. And then I select the second keyframe. And I change it as a Bezier keyframe. Then I open the graph editor. And here I select this point, And after that, I adjust this graph like this. So this way, our animation becomes more smooth and this text's settled down very gently. Let's close this layer. After that, I select this layer and duplicate it. Then I drag it forward into the timeline. And then I rename the bottom layer as Color 1. And now I'm going to add a fill effect to this layer. Also, I changed the row's value around 32 and column's value around 13 to get a randomness. It looks nice. So after that, I duplicate this layer one more time and place it below all the layers. Then I select color layer 1 and text holder layer and drag it forward into the timeline. Now I select the color 2 and I change its fill color to a different color like this. Also, I change the rows value around 24 and the columns value around 10. And now it looks good. Let's move forward. So I select all the layers and pre-compose it. Name it as a text deform. And then I'm going to create a new solid layer. Name it as the fractal noise. Let's search effect called fractal noise and add it to this layer. Let's see the settings. So first I'm going to change fractal type as dynamic. And then I change the noise type as spline. After that I open the transform properties and under it I open the scale values. Make sure you uncheck the uniform scaling so we can manipulate the X and Y scale manually. Let's increase the scale width around 400 and then I decrease the scale height around 18%. Now I am going to animate the rotations. So for this I am using the expression. So hold Alt on the keyboard and click on the stopwatch to open the expression panel. Then I type a simple expression in this panel time. Asterix 70. So our rotation animation is complete. Let's close this layer after that. I turn off the fractal noise visibility for now and then I select the text deformed layer. After that, I search a time displacement effect and add it to this layer. Let's see the settings. So first, I change the time displacement layer as rectal noise. Then I change source as effects and mask. And then I change max displacement time as 0.2. Then I change the time resolution around 22. Let's see the preview. So as you can see, our glitchy animation is applied to our text animation. Let's move forward. Now I'm going to make the background. So for this, I'm going to create a new solid layer. 
name it as grid lines. Then I search effect called fractal noise and add it to this layer. First, I changed the fractal type as dynamic. Then I changed the noise type as block. And then I open the transform properties and increase the scale value like this. Then I search another effect called find edges and apply to this layer. Make sure you check the invert checkbox. And then I decrease the contrast value around 40%. After that, I search a levels effect and add it to this layer as well. Then I select this white point and drag it to this way to get this look. After that, I select this layer and pre-compose it. Name it as grid. Then I search effect called color key and add it to this layer. Then simply select a color picker tool and select a darker color. And then I increase the color tolerance around 50 percentage. So we got this kind of lines. Right now it's not animated. So open the grid composition and select the layer. And then we are going to play the evolution properties to animate this hold alt and click this stopwatch to open the expression panel and then type a simple expression called time asterisk 230 and click anywhere to conform. Now this line is animated. All right, let's go back to our main composition. Then solo the grid layer, see the animation. And by the way, it's a transparent line, so we can add a color to it. So I go to Effects and Preset Panel and search Fill Effect and add it to this layer. Now we can change the line's color. Let's unsolar this layer because I'm going to animate its opacity value. So first press T on the keyboard to see the opposite value and click on the stopwatch. Then change its opacity value to 0. Then go to 1 second mark and change the value to 40. Then go to two and a half seconds, add one more key from here. Then go to three second mark and change its value to zero. Let's see the preview. So we successfully animated our color lines. And now it's time to finalize this animation by adding some adjustments. So first, I am gonna create a new adjustment layer and then I search a glow effect and add it to this layer. Then I change the glow threshold to 90%. Then I change the glow radius to 5 to add a subtle glowing look. And that's it. That's how you can create a glitchy deformed text animation in After Effects. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.